Okay, warm up. Wow, it warmed up very quickly this morning. Yeah. I felt like I had to turn on the AC by like 11 a.m. And that humidity yes. making it feel a little bit uncomfortable, kind of sticky outside. And we're going to continue with this heat as we roll through tomorrow. Let's bring you outside to our live high definition sky camera network. And we did get a lot of sunshine even up against the coastline. But we, when you added in just a touch of that humidity, the heat, it really kind of caught up with us today. And it's only 320. We're still continuing to warm as we move through the next two, two and a half hours. So the hottest so far, Brentwood at 98 degrees, Pleasanton 95, Morgan Hill 95, Concord at 94, St. Helena 93. Let's show you what's causing this unusual pattern. And we have this hot area of high pressure, and this is what's bringing in the humidity, also the heat. And then we've got this smaller little system right offshore. This is only just kind of emphasizing the pattern. It's not doing a whole lot, but it's helping to conveyor belt uh, the humidity as well right up through the state also some isolated storms. Now we did see a little bit of spotty rainfall activity this morning. Nothing major, thankfully. Last thing we need right now would be any kind of lightning. So we didn't have any kind of lightning outbreaks and that is good news. But you can see a storm ranger scans. We have some rainfall off to the north and this is really pulling away uh, some of this spotty rainfall just north of Clear Lake. Also Ukiah. So we're on the downward side of things. So as we move through tomorrow morning, we do expect mostly sunny skies to start on the early side at 7 a.m. But watch this as I advance it. We're going to see some clouds begin to bubble up from the south as we head through the day tomorrow. So not quite as sunny. We'll hang on to the humidity. Best chances of some showers would be the north of us, also to the east over the Sierra. So as we bring it into tomorrow morning, we'll start it off here in the 60s through the South Bay Peninsula 64, Tri Valley 67. So it might feel kind of strange out there again with some of that humidity lingering. San Francisco at 59 and the North Bay at 62. Daytime highs as we roll through tomorrow. Again, another warm day up as hot as 100 in Brentwood. 96 here in Livermore, 97 in Concord, San Jose, not too bad at 86. Probably some of the best weather right there in Oakland at 75 degrees on my seven day forecast in San Francisco, a mix of 60s and 70s next couple of days. And then this weekend, more of those 60s rolling on in and through the inland valleys. Once again, hot weather tomorrow, 96. Then we hold on with these mid 90s through Thursday and Friday. Then we have some 80s rolling in next week. Let's bring you out to Tokyo real fast, and this is some of the hottest weather they have seen in recent memory. Heat indexes going up to the mid and upper 90s. By next Monday, we could have a heat index of 100 wow. with those on and off chances of thunderstorms. So I'm hearing from a lot of folks reading a lot of different stuff about the weather and what's happening over there, and people knew it was going to be bad, but this is kind of the worst of the worst even for Tokyo standards. Talk about testing those athletes to yeah. the limit, right? Yeah. For yeah. sure. No okay. doubt. Thanks, Jeff.